Hello guys, it's me again and welcome back to the Buku Challenge Run where our deck is really becoming super super powerful. Um, now last episode we obviously took down Marco, it was so close. Um, so yeah, 4,900 attack, Spirit of the Books were running around, um, we had him with monsters of above 4,000, it was, it was crazy, it was absolutely insane. But it also showed us that our deck has some real, real power. Um, and it's really able to 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 compete with the best, especially once we get a few more cards into this that we can make it a little more uh, a little more reliable. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to immediately jump into Joey's battle today, and we're going to see what our deck can do against him. Spirit of the books for the win. So yeah, um, immediately obviously a lot of mountain terrain up against Joey, so that is going to help us out a lot, I think. Um, so let's see what we have drawn. So immediately we get a Spirit of the Books. So I think first thing we do is move forward and we will drop Spirit of the Books. Flip that up. We have our Buku. Flip him face up. And we now have a 2600 Spirit of the Books on the field on the first turn. How awesome is that? Still not powerful enough to take out one of his uh, Thousand Dragons. So we do need to be careful of that. But if we can get a another spirit of the books out, um, then or another buku, we're we're we're, we're golden. We're going to be in in a good position. So let's just throw down tears of the mermaid. Um, I guess we'll throw out harpy's feather duster. I mean, harpy's feather duster would have actually been decent to use in the last duel against Marco, but I didn't even think about his aqua choruses that he has. So yeah, um, I mean, worse things have happened. We managed to get the, the win in the end. Okay, so ideally we want to just protect our Spirit of the Books as much as we can um, until he gets, I think, another boost. So he is able to take our Parrot Dragon, but I'm worried about Thousand Dragon because Thousand Dragon, of course, starts with 2400. So if he's on Toon or on this mountain terrain, he is going to reach. Um, he is going to reach uh 2900 so our spread of the books will not be able to deal with that so so yeah i mean probably for now we just keep him exactly where he is uh we need to clear some of this just junk away here um we can create hmm yeah we can make a, a dark witch i guess whether it's actually going to be powerful enough to take any of his cards on, I don't know. But we can we can lay it down. Keep Spirit of the Books right there for now. Spirit Dragon is of course still spellbound for this turn, so he can't move in any case. And Dark Witch will take down Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Okay, so I don't know if that's going to be a trap or not, um, but regardless, we can create another Spirit of the Books. Cool, so Spirit of the Books there, flip it face up. Create ourselves another Buku. Let's just move that out to this side. Move our deck leader forward. Let's just suss out that this is not a trap. So that is a Niwatori. Niwatori would be awesome to grab actually for fusion fodder. Because he is what, 900 attack and he is a 3 summoning level uh, wing beast. That would be awesome to bring in for uh, for bringing out Spirit of the Books for even cheaper. Um, and yeah, I mean the recovery doesn't really help us all that much. But he will, he will be nice fusion material for Spirit of the Books. So I guess we just charge in on this Parrot Dragon before he puts it into defense mode. Minus 1,400 life points. And this might be a very quick duel. And to be fair, if this is a quick duel, um, I mean, uh, I kind of expected it. He is out on Toon Terrain now, which does suck a little. Um, let's just drop down Mechmol Zombie. 
So whatever this is can maybe be turned into a, a zombie and be vulnerable here on the mountain. Um, so yeah, we can just do this. Bring Dark Witch and Spirit of the Books just to pressure him. So if he transforms to zombie there, Spirit of the Books can just do a full-on attack on him. Buku in defense and we'll move the Spirit of the Books forward as well. Um, yeah, so if, if this is a quick duel, I kind of I kind of figured that it would be. But um, the the thing is that the following duel, because after this we're going to fight um, Shadi. Now, if we're going to fight Shadi, the problem is that he spellbinds wing beasts within his support area. So we're not going to be able to to lay down Spirit of the Books right away, which is going to suck. Um, like, it, it's not going to be fun, let's put it that way. Uh, now this Make Mole Zombie, I'm just going to keep there for now. Do we just bomb in with Spirit of the Books? No, because then it's pretty weak. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe we just do this. Uh, our maximum number of monsters on the field. Let's see if we can bait him into attacking this red medicine with either one of those cards. Um, so yeah, so Shadi, we're not going to be able to take on directly unless we're able to lay down Yami and send, um, send some spellcasters in after him, so send in Dark Elf or anything like that. Okay, so there is a 2,900,000 dragon. So that's okay, we now know what that is, so we can take that out with our Spirit of the Books. Um, yeah, th Mechmol Zombie we are going to want to be careful with. So let's just take down 1,000 dragon. Should have probably checked if we could bring out another Buku before I did that, but oh well. Okay, well we couldn't in any case, so that's fine. Um... Move Mechmol Zombie out to here. There we go. Baited out the trap. Red Medicine has been mesmerized. Um, okay, then what can we summon? So, Jenin is actually good in Toon Terrain. So, if we can move forward and summon him, then he's got movement boost. So, I mean, we can actually just do that now, can't we? Yeah, so summon over red medicine. And the winning blow goes to Jenin. <laughs> cool, super quick duel. It was like a five minute duel against Joey. I didn't think he was going to pose too much of a threat, to be honest. Because the mountain terrain um, helps us out. Spirit of the books gets promoted again. Okay, so if we can get Niwatori and Mesmeric Control, those will be awesome. Nope, instead we get a Manga Riran. There's Niwatori, which will be nice to add to the deck. And we get our Mesmeric Control as well. Cool, I'm getting better at this, guys. I'm getting there. Getting there, I'm not great as of yet, but I'm getting the hang of the slots again. I do sometimes swear that it feels like the, the timing is off on the emulator compared to what it used to be on PS2. But also, that that would just be making excuses. And at the end of the day, it's it's my own timing. That's the that's the issue. So, so yeah, so Shadi, um, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll take him on today, definitely. Um, otherwise, this is going to be a super short episode. So let's adjust the deck real quick. We want to bring in Mesmeric Control. Most definitely. So, what do we want to take out? Um, I mean, Magical Labyrinth is okay, but I don't know if it really helps us out too much. Um, I mean, I've got these fairies in for Dark Witch, but it's not really that useful right now. With, with how the deck has grown since then. So, we'll take that out for Mesmeric Control. Um, Protector of the Throne I also brought in to create Dark Witch. Shining Friendship is nice for the uh, for the spellbinding uh, side of it. So let's take out Protector of the Throne, bring in Niwatori so that we have another um, fusion material to create Spirit of the Books. And for even cheaper, so we can now make a 3-star Spirit of the Books. So it would actually be nice to 
to get three new Atories at some point. Because if we can bring out Spirit of the Books for three stars, we know that we can bring them out any turn that we that we draw a new Atori and we have a Buku on the field. So yeah, so we'll take on Shady today. Like I said, we're going to have to bait him out into attacking us because of that annoying spellbinding effect. Like, I'd never realized growing up, like growing up, I, I stuck to a very limited amount of different types. And I'd never realized how many abilities Pyro gets. Like, it's actually insane. I know that it's to specific enemies, but that's three types of enemies that you either destroy, spellbind, or weaken. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, and you then boost your own monsters as well, so... Okay, so we do draw Yami. Um, okay, very nice. So, let's just bomb ourselves up the field before we lay that down. So, that, that is definitely going to help Dark Elf. Okay, so that is, has been power increased. Most likely, it's not very strong. We're looking at something like a Fayaru or Fayaru. Um, okay, so we've got our, we've got a Harpy Lady, so that we can create a Spirit of the Books. Um, I don't know if we... Yeah, let's drop down Mystical Sand. We'll let him attack in on the Red Medicine so that we know what that card is. Okay, so he's not going to attack in on us. That's fine. Um, hmm. Okay, cool. So there is a Spirit of the Books. Now we should be able to drop that here. Flip him face up. Buku will summon behind us. So we can then flip that up. Strengthen Spirit of the Books. And on the next turn, summon... Harpy Lady over here, and then create another Spirit of the Books, etc. So, yeah, stick like that for now. The only issue with this is that, of course, we have to flip up Spirit of the Books to create more Bukus. So, he is going to know what, um, you know, what monsters we have on the field. And the issue comes in that with him having all of these um, terrain, like, oh, not terrain, um... Life point damaging spells like Ukazi and Tremendous Fire and things like that. He's going to be eating into our life points. We have to send some cards towards him. Um, so this this can potentially be a pretty tough, a pretty tough duel to be honest. Okay, so rocks are fine against him, of course. Um, so maybe what we do is because we don't have enough summoning power anyway for this harpy. So, I'm going to just drop down Yami right here. So we create this kind of dark cross on this section of the field. We move ourselves forward. Um, yeah, Buku can come along with us. Okay, so he has got something strong, or oh, that's been strengthened on his left-hand side. Can hopefully bait that into attacking Red Medicine. Okay, so let's move across to here. Drop down Buku. Um, then we'll put down Harpy Lady with that. Flip up Spirit of the Books. Creates us another Buku. So 2,100, 2,800. Um, let's attack in on this and see what it is. So it is a Flame Snake. Nothing scary, at least. If anything, it's a waste of his um, of his power up. What did he use on a Burning Spear? So it was a waste of 500 points, um, you know, worth of a power up. I don't know what that is, but he should flip up and attack in on Red Medicine, which will be ideal. Um, he's now out of range, correct? So if we attack that, do we dare? Oh, we can't, we don't have movement boost, what am I talking about? So we'll just stay like that on the, 
on the darkness terrain, because obviously he's not going to get a boost on that. We'll see if he's going to flip up and attack this red medicine. Ideally, he does. Okay, cool. So that he has put into defense mode. Okay, so what is that? Flame Cerberus with 2,600. Okay, so we need to hope that we can power up Spirit of the Books, and we can't at this point. Okay, so that sucks. That really, really sucks. Um... Because we're basically going to lose the spirit of the books come this turn. So we'll move Buku into a safer position. Um, we'll move... Oh no, we won't because he's not going to have movement boost. Right, so we'll let him chase the spirit of the books. Because then on the next turn we can maybe drop either a curse breaker on him. Or we can drop something like shining friendship to just, um, to just spellbind him. Um, Genin as well can also spellbind him. Um, we can actually just drop them this next turn because, yeah, because it'll spellbind on flip. So, yeah, let's do that. Um, and yeah, spirit of the books. I don't want to. I don't want to lose him. So, just chase him with our with our mystical sand can maybe cause him to run over some some cards as well which would be nice um, cool so okay so we do have Celtic Guardian so whenever we have a um, a different dark spell caster we can summon dark elf which will be nice um, so yeah so let's move spirit of the books down here Shining Friendship across to there. Hmm. See, I don't know if Harpy's Feather Duster... Harpy's Feather Duster might help for, like, his just desserts, if we can suss that out. I don't know where it would be, though. So let's send that up the field, because if we can get it here and activate it in this row where he puts cards down, maybe we will find a just desserts. Okay, cool. So Fire Eye, but he is going to spellbind our Mystical Sand, unfortunately. But we're putting him under pressure, at the very least. And we are making his deck leader have to move. Okay, so the issue now is that he has brought his Flame Cerberus back within range of his deck leader, so it is more powerful now. And Mystical Sand is also done for. Damn, okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty tough. Um, okay, so Nibatori. Cool, so we can move Shining Friendship actually just get rid of shining friendship at this point so i mean that's not gonna make a fusion right i really hope not let's be safe okay yeah so spirit of the books has been spellbound unfortunately um okay so we'll fuse buku with niwatori so for us to get a, another Buku, we are going to have to move Spirit of the Books forward here, unfortunately, because we want to summon Buku in our summoning area. Flip him face up. Okay, so this is still not powerful enough to defeat Flame Cerberus at this point. Hmm. Yeah, this is... This is a problem. Like, he's going to be really tough to take down. Yeah, you see, so he's hitting us with final flames and things. We are down to two and a half thousand life points. What really worries me is... Um... Just desserts. So 
Yeah, we're in... Man, we are in some real trouble here. Okay, so we're, we're gonna have to start trying to advance on him as much as we can. Um, what we actually need is Dark Elf with a... Um, Dark Elf with Dark Pendant. Um, the Spirit of the Books is basically done for at this point, unfortunately. Um, so we can just summon Curse Breaker for now. So we can summon Curse Breaker to just lower that Flame Cerberus attack a bit, I guess. That's another power increased monster. And Shadi is such a difficult duel. Like, he's such a cool duel, but he's so tough. Like, he's, he's just bearing down on us rapidly here. Okay, so Curse Breaker on Flame Cerberus is going to drop him to 2600. Um, hmm. See what I mean? Like, we can create Dark Elf, but it's not going to help us at this point because it's still not going to have enough. Still not going to do enough damage. Spread of the Books also is not strong enough at this point. So we're going to have to pull down. Maybe bring Spirit of the Books down to these guys as well so we can do some life point damage if we can catch them in attack uh, position. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like we've... Okay, cool, so 2,100 if he moves to that spot. He has been spellbound by Jainan now. Oh, Ukazi. Um, yeah, I feel like we've had some really entertaining duels this playthrough. Like, the duels have been closer than what they were in our in the previous playthrough. Um, with the uh, with the water deck. Okay, so we have got Invisible Wire, which we can use if anything bears down on us too harshly. Yeah, let's, let's try and focus our attack down a different lane, possibly, at this point. I don't really know what we're going to do here. Like I said, my concern is his... His magic cards that damage life points. Because if he activates, like, tremendous fire and things, we're, we're going to be in, in some serious trouble. Um, so... So maybe let's just create... Yeah, let's just create a, um, a Dark Elf, because if we get Dark Pendant, I mean, I didn't get rid of, I wouldn't have gotten rid of Dark Pendant, surely not, no. Because if we can get a Dark Pendant, then we at least have a 3000 attack Dark Elf on this area, which can also deter him. So hopefully he's going to attack in on this gen, and then we can attack him with Spirit of the Books. I don't know if his AI is going to do that. Um... I mean, maybe we just stay right here for right now. Like, it sucks not being able to advance in on him with, with our winged beasts. Okay, cool. So that's going to do some damage. At the very least. Um, so Spirit of the Books can take out Flame Cerberus come the next turn. I mean, maybe we do the play of basing some attacks out onto this square. Okay, before we do that... Okay, so I'm not able to create another Spirit of the Book, sadly. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's just create some room again. So yeah, so let's move Spirit of the Books, attack Flame Cerberus, Flame Cerebrus. I don't know why it was localized to Flame Cerebrus. I suppose, I, like, I guess it was supposed to be Flame Cerberus, surely. So I just call it Flame Cerberus. Okay, 
I mean, this is a real waiting game at this point. Oh, what is he making now? Okay, so whatever that was, he decided he didn't want it. Oh, Molten Behemoth. Great. 3,700 defense. Friggin' insane. Okay, so he actually threw out Flame Cerberus. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um... So yeah, so maybe what we do is we just move Spirit of the Books back, try and bait that Vermilion Sparrow. Oh, and of course, when I do that, we get a Black Pendant. But that's fine, because we can actually go Celtic Guardian, Curtain of the Dark Ones, Black Pendants. Oh, maximum number of monsters on the field. Um, so, yeah, maybe we just get rid of this Mars Sorcerer down here. Create ourselves a Dark Elf. And then just hold this position here. I mean, do we move forward maybe? No, because we want... We'll just leave it here. Let's see, let's see what he does. If he doesn't do anything to that on this next turn, then we'll advance in on him. Oh, tremendous fire. We're in danger now. 700 life points left. We're going to have to do something. Okay, so we do have copycat. So we can... We can revive tremendous fire. So if we're able to do enough damage to him... So that's definitely not a trap. So maybe we're going to have to do this. We attack in on whatever this is. Okay, so Firewing Pegasus. Um, okay, so we can... We can strengthen Spirit of the Books some more, but maybe what we do is... Let's just get this tremendous. F yeah, let's just let's just use a tremendous fire. So we'll use that on the next turn. I might have to just run over this dark elf come the next turn, um, so that we can make room for another buku. And we've got to just hope that he doesn't play another magic card. Okay, so Vermilion Sparrow is definitely in danger. So let's just play Tremendous Fire. Then... We'll move Buku up. Summon Harpy Lady over that. I mean, I don't know if we... Yeah, we're going to have to. We have to make some room. So, run over Dark Elf. Flip up Spirit of the Books. Power up these guys even more. And now just continue our advance, I guess. Oh, widespread ruin. Jeez, come on. Okay, moving any of these guys is going to cause spellbinding. So... Ugh. Okay, well, I guess we stay here for now. We need to try and bait him into moving towards the Spirit of the Books. But I don't know how we're going to do that. Okay, so Vermilion Sparrow is advancing. I wonder if that's because he feels that he can take out the Spirit of the Books here. So, let's see what we have. We have got a Mesmeric Control. 
So let's move Lamoon down. Move our Spirit of the Books to here. Drop down Mesmeric Control into defense mode. And we'll move Spirit of the Books back. And hopefully that baits him into activating this Mesmeric Control. Because it looks like he might seriously want to go for, for that Spirit of the Books that he thinks he can defeat. Perfect, cool. So what we need to do is next turn, so he's going to be spellbound for one turn. So we can bring our Spirit of the Books directly across. Because we're not going to have any... Oh, are you joking? Oh, the pain. Oh. oh, man, that sucks. We were so close. Oh, we were so close. Okay, well, Dark Elf gets promotion. Oh, man, guys, that was so close. What a fun duel, though. So we do suffer our second loss. Um, so yeah. Um, oh man, we almost took Shady out on the first go. But yeah, I think that's that's going to do it for this episode. We are on the half hour mark now. Um, I'm actually in... Oh, I'm so disappointed. We were... We were two moves away from, from winning that. But I told you, the life point damage is what's going to just kill us. So, okay, cool. So, it is what it is. Next episode, we take on Shitty again. We get our revenge. After that, we, we're going to win. We're going to beat him. And we then get another reincarnation as well. Um, so, what we can do is... Um, what do we have to reincarnate? Maybe we just reincarnate this damn Hoppy's Feather Duster. Um, and get rid of that. So it's either going to be that or we go for another Spirit of the Books. I'll see how we feel on the next episode. Or we go for a nice powerful Spellcaster. Um, that might be that might be a decent shout as well. Uh, I know that the most powerful ones are only from slots. So stuff like uh, Magician of Black Chaos and Cosmo Queen are only three in a row. And then obviously like Dark Magician and things like that we're only going to get from Yugi. So... So yeah, I mean, maybe we just reincarnate this fissure is also useless um, to us. So yeah, so we got some options for reincarnation come the next episode. Um, we were so close, we can definitely take this guy down. We are going to beat down on him come the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you all so much, as always. Please subscribe if this is your first time and you have enjoyed the content. Um, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye for now.